finally getting to a point. It's Sanctuary of Reality, my comic review series. Time for Church and State Chapter 33 in Cerebus Issue 84. Chariot of the Queen, Chariot of the Lovers. The Countess calls the Roaches in for dinner, so they cease their sacred wars patrol and begin to head in. Drew and Flegel argue over who gets to sit next to Sacred Wars Roach, with Drew getting the nod for it by the Roach, who then tells them the first to get to the table get to double the Sacred Wars rations, leading to the pair fighting their way back to be the first one there. They battle one another all the way there, until the Roach breaks it up. The trio then wolf down dinner and depart, though the mother figure countess makes them thank her before they go. So, resuming their conversation, Countess tells Cerebus that Weishaupt, before he died, gave her something to give him. It'll supposedly help him regain all that he's lost. The Countess also imparts one last insult from the President to Cerebus before handing over the gift. What exactly is it? This is an improvement over the last issue, definitely. Though really, it's just a continuation of that story and actually works better in tandem with it. Most of this plot revolves around the wacky antics of the Roaches, so it's definitely a funny issue. There's just not much going on dealing with the overarching plot, though we do get a little of it at the end, uh, especially with the, the Countess saying that she's not going to be present by Cerebus' side at the final ascension. Why does she have to? Why does somebody have to be present? Well, that's important for later. Weishaupt's knowledge of the things that we're gearing up for is interesting, as it makes yet another thing that he kept from Cerebus, even on his deathbed. Truthfully, we're just as in the dark about the final ascension as Cerebus is. Yet, Weishaupt, Astoria, Lord Julius, the Countess, and even the Sacred Wars Roach, among others, seem to know all about it. This is the Countess's final appearance. Which is as it should be. I mean, she's so inexplicably linked with Weishaupt now that, and he's gone. So what's the point to keeping her around? But it is a shame for the Roach. He really needed her grounding him and looking out for his mental well-being. Things are only going to get worse for him now that he's not got her to, around to help him. I wonder what happened to her after this, though. I'm sure Weishaupt had a plan for that, but she's not liable to follow through with anything he set up. Oh well, guess we'll never know. Next time, Cerebus becomes like a rolling stone.